A new Marist poll finds that 71% of Americans support legal limits on abortion. The poll, sponsored by the Knights of Columbus, found that over 50% of Americans oppose taxpayer funding of abortions. In addition, 81% of Americans believe laws can protect both the mother and unborn baby. And 63% of Americans oppose new federal rules allowing for dangerous chemical abortion pills to be distributed via mail. We are joined now by Supreme Knight Patrick Kelly of the Knights of Columbus. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, uh, thank you, Prudence, for having me today. Of course. Now, this Marist poll found the vast majority of Americans believe there should be significant restrictions on abortion. Does that surprise you? You know, it doesn't surprise me because we've been doing this poll with the Marist polling company for 14 years now, and we get a consistent result. Every year, we find that a, a majority of Americans uh, want legal limits on abortion. And that's very important because, you know, this idea that many people try to push that uh, the American people want abortion on demand right up to the point of birth is just not true. I mean, this poll shows us that once you get beyond the labels, uh, you see that the majority of Americans want legal limits on abortion. So it's, it's, it's an important thing uh, to keep in mind. Mm, yes, and I know that you ask um, those being polled a lot of questions, but what is your biggest takeaway from this year's poll in particular? You know, my biggest takeaway is its consistency uh, over the years, but also the fact that 81% uh, of those we polled believe that our laws can protect both the mother and the unborn child. I think so often uh, in in popular culture and e even in the in the media culture, there is uh, the 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 mother and the unborn child are put in in competition with each other. It's an either or. And what this poll shows us is it's not an either or. That we can craft laws that can protect both. And I think that's the direction that this country is going in, particularly as we you know as we. Uh, uh, come to the Dobbs decision later this year. Mm, yes, certainly very encouraging. I want to shift gears for a moment. I understand that the Knights of Columbus recently donated its 1500th ultrasound machine. Congratulations on that. Could you tell us about this milestone? Well, this is a program that we started in 2009 where we, we, we partner with local councils uh, to put ultrasounds in pregnancy centers. And it was an, an, it's been an enormously successful program. And so this last week, we put our 1500th ultrasound into a, uh, a pregnancy center. You know, and it really is, it's, a, it's, it's extraordinary the impact that ultrasound can have on the views of an expectant mother. Um, when we started this program in 2009, we didn't quite know how it would go and how it would take off. But I have to say, consistently, year over year, we put in hundreds of ultrasounds. And it's just, it, it's so important, I think, as a sign of hope for these mothers uh, to come around them and to support them to make this life-affirming choice. Mm, absolutely. And you've touched on this a bit already, but why is it so important for mothers to see and hear their baby in the womb? Because I think it gets beyond some of the the lies that have been told so often that uh, that that this is just a clump of cells uh, and that this this will uh, you make this decision and you won't have to think about this again. The mother sees that image of her child. She hears the heartbeat, and it really is very very compelling. And I think it's important for, for all of us as a society to come around that mother and to come around that unborn child. You know, like I said before, they're not in competition. We need to love them both. And I think that's really what the ultrasound does. Uh, and that's why I think the Knights of Columbus were so proud to uh, to sponsor this program and to put so many ultrasounds in pregnancy centers. Yes, it's so important. And we know that updates in technology and ultrasounds have really revealed the humanity of unborn children in a way they haven't before. One more question. We cannot get over the amount of people that attended this year's March for Life. I know that you were there. What was that experience like for you? 
You know, it was great to be there uh, in person. Obviously, we all know we didn't have a, a, a real March for Life last year. We didn't have the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands there. But this year, it was great. There was a really a real sense of hope, I think, for the, the future of the pro-life movement. There's hope that things are moving in a very positive direction. So there was enthusiasm, and there was hope, and there was there was love there. So. I just was so happy to be there and so happy to represent the Knights of Columbus, uh, all my brother Knights and their families at the March for Life. Mm, it was such an important and special day. Supreme Knight Patrick Kelly of the Knights of Columbus, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Prudence.